Hello, Redstone Advancement here today to talk about piston tapes. Piston tapes are redstone devices that are useful when you have a series of different redstone signals that you want one after the other. Um, these three devices here are three different kinds of piston tapes. There are many, many kinds of piston tapes. This is only uh, three different sizes. Uh, I'll just demonstrate uh, what it looks like. So I press, I activate it, and now that wire is lit up. Now that's lit up. Uh, those two, that one, and so on and so forth. The way it works is that you have a s series of blocks going around a uh, a loop with four sets of pistons, and you have a part in the middle here where you have power going into the four or however many not doesn't need to be four. But anyways, the blocks in a line and if the block is made of glass, the power doesn't go through. And if it is made of something like wool or a sol any kind of solid block, and the glass can be any kind of transparent block, um, the signal will go through. And so you can use this to get a series of different uh, states. Um, this one is one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that this is a nine by uh, or eight. There's eighteen different combinations possible in something like this. Uh, I have a smaller one here which has ten different possibilities. Oops, fell down, fell down again, and so works just the same, except it's bit smaller and has less uh, less available spaces. So you see that one had 18 and this one has 10. But what if you wanted an odd number, like say 11 different states? For that you'll have to do something a bit tricky, so something like this. This one, as you would uh, be able to see, would be has 22 different uh, states in it. But say I wanted 11, this one is set up to give me two sets of 11. What it does is it has one set of 11, and then it repeats the exact same one again. So that lets it have an odd number of different states, but uh, it works with this kind of setup. It's, uh, it's a cool idea. Um, this thing over here is, if you wanted a really, really small one, it's something I came up with on the spot. It's not actually set up, as you can see. It's just sort of a, a shell of one. It uh, relies on the fact that a torch underneath a glass block does not depower, like, unpower the torch on top of it. And if you want to put in the work to extract the data from here, then there you go. You have to be a bit careful if you uh, want to do it, though, because you can't have a block on top of there, because that just messes with uh, this piston, and you can't extract it this way, because it messes with the other piston, and as you can see, it just screws the whole thing up. What you'll have to do is something involving a piston on top of a torch or some other method that doesn't mess with the other pistons. A block on top, it pushes it up and stuff like that. It's, uh, it'd be a little difficult, perfectly possible I'm sure, but I didn't want to put in the effort to do it. Uh, sorry about that cut, I started to do something then uh, thought better of it. So. That's the end of what I'm going to show you in this video. If you want to see a video of me build one of these quickly, just uh, ask for it in the comments. Um, I guess that's all. So this has been Redstone Advancement, and uh, have a nice day.